Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we're going to be going over Harriet and discuss her strategy and build. So for those who haven't fine-tuned your Harriet in terms of uh, gear, badges, uh, team compositions, now is actually a good time. Okay, so let's discuss first uh, Harriet's uh, skills. So for Harriet, uh, basic attack. So this is very basic. Barrett sniper rifle. Boost damage from basic attack by 25% for level 1 and le uh, no, level 2 and level 3. So total of 50% basic attack boosted. Next is her ultimate, which is uh, airdrop. So summons a red and blue bomber. So these are her psychics. If their energy is full and they self-detonate, when they do, the red one deals AoE damage and the blue one deals single target damage. And the higher and the higher their remaining health and shield are, the more damage dealt. So take note that you have to give them more health and also give them a shield for them to deal more damage. So upgrade effect level one day self detonate boosts all your figures and summon creatures damage by ten percent for five seconds. So as they are, you know, sues they're they're your suicide squad. So once they kill themselves and detonate. Uh, your other figurines and some creatures uh, damage are increased by 10%. So although it's for 5 seconds. For level 3, increase the red bomber's initial energy by 30 and boosts the blue one's max health by 25%. So take note, if you are using a summoner or a summon, the higher the summoner's attack and max health, the higher the summon creature, the higher the summon creatures will be. So um, attack, of course, goes to attack of the summoned creature and health goes to the health of the summoned creature. So let's take a look at um, the passive smoke grenade. Attacks the current enemy and blinds it for 6 seconds every 10 seconds. So this is a nice uh, skill to have. Perfect for um, those pesky bosses that you need uh, for them to miss their attacks. So this is her key for me, her other key skill that you should also consider. Level 2 is restores 10 energy for all let's red figures when the effect is triggered. So she is going to be more important with a let's red team. So let's face it. So we have to build a Let's Red team around her. Level 3 triggers every 8 seconds, restores 10 energy for all Let's Red figurines and summon units when the effect is triggered. So blind again is 15% chance to miss. Although it's a small chance, but at least it, there is a chance that the, the a boss or a certain minion would miss their attacks. So last is going to be her special skill, top player. Boost the damage dealt from basic attacks by 12%. So she will need this because um, she'll be dealing much more basic attack damage with that sniper rifle. Level 2 is boost attack and max health by 5%. And level 3 is boost the damage dealt from basic attacks by 18 percent so those are her skills as for her weakness so she's going to be good in terms of attack but um this needs to be at s so kind of her strength already her weaknesses are definitely her health and her defense because as she is she is very squishy um even though she's in the back line you need to protect her for her to create uh, more summons and to repeat the cycle and also to do some blind or passive for her bl uh, blind for her passive sorry okay so again if you have a way of buffing this with your team comp then that is the idea because um, as for her parts later we'll discuss the parts that you'll be equipping her but again health and defense are a must okay so for her parts uh, recommended gear for her would be, of course, attack. So try to uh, enhance attack and also HP. She needs a little, I know, not a little, a lot of HP for her to survive. So this is the old, the the optimal gear setting that you need her to be in. If you want to deviate from attack, which is I don't recommend, um, try to add more HP or defense to her kit. But definitely, this is the ideal kit for her to have. So 
Uh, we'll go through the badges right now. So for the recommended badge, this is the other. This, this is the first one that I'm recommending. Uh, why the wake? So specialist exclusive boost attack by five percent. Also boosts all figurines, uh, figurines and summon creatures damage by ten percent for five seconds when an enemy is defeated. So. This one you have to have a good a, a, a good this is good for mobs by the way because um um you'll have more opportunities to defeat smaller uh, minions or you know smaller um, the difficulty mobs so she will be also going to be good there okay the other badge is this one eternal angelic badge so I don't have this yet so boost allied summon units damage by twenty percent but cannot be stacked with the same badge effect. Grants a shield equal to 480% of the figurine attack to a summon unit when it is created. So this is more ideal for you, I think, than this one. So I currently have this one. Um, definitely, if I have this, I'm going to be using this on her. So those are the two badges that I recommend. If you don't have these two, um, generic badges would do particularly um, if you have... Badges that can give her more HP um, and boost shield, it would be great as well. But the two badges are preferable for her because she does uh, summon um, summons or her two bodyguards. Okay, so as for team composition, um, a must-have for her. Uh, let's talk about Let's Red units because most of her skills are going to be benef uh, beneficial for Let's Red units. So. Aoi will be on top of the list because Aoi boosts her um, boosts her what do you call this buffs, uh, attack buffs, shield and health bonuses from Aoi alone. So definitely Aoi should be on your team. They are your uh, you know they they should be paired together when you uh, build your team. Next is going to be Suzumi because definitely you're gonna be building a summoner team. So Suzumi can complement additional summons. So together, um, Suzumi, Aoi, and Harriet will be a good base for your summoner team. Then for Megan, Megan will be your front line definitely because Megan needs to hold off uh, no your, the um, front frontal attacks. So definitely she should be there. And for your healer, you could go with Sakura. Or you, you could go with the other healers in the other uh, factions or brand. Like, for example, you could go with Zephyr. Or you could go with um, this guy, Zhao Yu. So any healer would really complement your, you know, your team, uh, team comp. Um, because Sakura is not really a healer. She's more of a debuffer for silence. She has only a secondary function for heal. So definitely, if you really want to boost your healing, you definitely need to get other healers from other teams. Okay, so for um, the content, she can be useful um, actually in Azazel as she supports um, additional summon for your waves. And also in the big three, um, I highly recommend her here. You put you bring her here because of um, you know her summon ability and also her blind ability. So let's take a look at my current team. So she's here at the back, so to deal um, additional damage to both um, the front line. Um, this is a I think a hard stage for me to clear, but I'll try this anyway um, so that you can see how she would support your team so again you have there you i have to have additional frontline but again if you don't need additional frontline for this rai or re would be perfect um to sub with yuna so let's take a look at this battle and uh, let's see how far i can go from here so so far i haven't cleared this i have been stuck with the uh, level 180 for some of my figures and what i have been doing is just um uh, changing and leveling up their gear so as you can see there a <coughs> a nice complement is going to be harriet the problem with this boss it's uh it's ultimate of a very big barrage and a very big damage is 
really going to kill her. So that is ultimately going to be her weakness. Again, she ill, she is very squishy and she can by the way guys, she can style, she can blind bosses. So um, if you can blind this boss and also you can silence this boss through Sakura. But again, um, I'm under leveled at this point. I can't go through. But um, if you are at a good level, as you can see there, the ultimate of the boss is very, very crucial. And you'll have to withstand that once you get your units up to a acceptable level. So let's leave this battle. And more or less, that is where... You should bring her. Okay, so my final thoughts for Aoi. Good support for clearing PvE. Definitely a you know a fun team. Um, if you build a summon team with Harriet, uh, it's really fun. It's it's just that um, she needs a lot of uh, buffs. She needs a lot of support, and she needs key uh, team comp members, particularly Aoi for buffs and also healer. So as you can see there um, from my battle from uh, the big three, Sakura doesn't heal that much. So definitely, uh, hopefully in the future, um, uh, Let's Red could have another healer, more, you know, bigger, a, pri a priority healer for Let's Red. So again, don't forget, um, she needs to have Suzumi, uh, Aoi, and Megan for that summoner team. The, the last one preferably would be a healer. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for staying this far. So those are my final thoughts. And I hope this guide helped you or is going to help you. Hopefully, you can subscribe to my channel because this helps me a lot. And don't forget, guys, to stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.